We're live. Oh yeah, friends. we're going. I'm just smiling at you. Whew. <laughs> this is a big one. This is a big one. This might be, it probably is the beginning of a Hallmark evergreen moment. A, an, an annual, yeah, we're gonna do it. First annual. Cue the, people applaud. <laughs> The annual Levy's Award Show. That's it. Yes. We, uh, EUC Award Show. EUC Award Show. If you would like us to see do a, awards for e-scooters, e-skates, one wheels, let us know in the comments and we'll yeah. add it next year. But as you've known from, if you have followed our channel in the past, if you haven't, please subscribe. If you haven't, um, Nice, nice. Yeah, so you always forget, we always nice. forget to do that. I know, yeah. But if you want us to see us to do more videos um, on other products, let us know because we've been Bias towards the EUC because it is our favorite product and it's our bread and butter. Oh, we sell a lot of scooters. We sell a lot of scooters so too. Maybe yeah. we should look into that market as well. Yeah. I'm just more probably. boring, you know? Hey. Anyways. <laughs> sorry, sorry, scooter, scooter lovers. Sorry, scooter lovers. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, uh, I, I digress. Let's get yeah, into yeah. it. Let's, you know, uh, we're, we're dressed to impress. We're ready here. We don't joke around. We plan to be the number one award show on YouTube for EUCs of all time. And I so hope I can't have a hard time. So I never mean to laugh at you. I'm so and serious. I, this ain't no joke. And I hope this fit makes it clear, a la The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> Sorry. I was doing him leaning. I was like, oh. <laughs> him leaning. You remember that? Yes. You gotta post that photo of The Rock. Like you, if you the, had the hair, you would 100%. Oh, yeah, hair he had hair Because he had that f***ing pro thing going ah, on. I'm sorry, sure. I just swore too. But, uh, I'm going to quack it out. Yeah. Cheers, by the way, Cheers, to, yeah, the, to the show. Have some orange juice at uh, 11 a.m. Yeah, it's 11 a.m. in Vancouver. But it's New Year's Eve. Well, New Year's Eve hey. morning. So, New Year's still Eve, Eve morning, yeah. Still, still the Eve. Okay, let's get into it. We have eight categories. Yes. Um, most underrated. Let's go over them. But before yeah. we do, yeah. um, oh, yes. important to note that this is not indicative indicative of an academy. Of an academy. There's no academy. There's no academy <laughs> for this award. This is not a global a group consensus. We didn't ask anybody, literally anybody, their opinions except for us two. This is not. So you may very well disagree. Some people in the comments sound off in the comments. If you do, which is probably one of our most active comments. Yeah. Um, speaking of comments, if you're waiting for the haiku. Uh, award winners. Next video. Next video, we're doing a beautiful readout of the haikus. Actually, tonight we're gonna film it. Yes. I'm gonna have a different turtleneck on. It's gonna be beautiful, very ambiance centric. It's gonna be glorious. So wait for that. But anyways, this is our opinion. This is Bradley and I's subjective opinion. Maybe ask one or two other people, but pretty much just us. Our experience in the store, our experience from other people, bringing in things for service, if we're talking about reliability, not giving away any specific yeah. categories. It's, part of it is based on our customer feedback as well. Totally, It's, totally. it's based on yeah. our experience as EVs, as our sales here yeah. in Canada. Yeah. Um, and I think it's fairly accurate, and we'll explain why the winners are the winners and why the nominees are the nominees. We'll but, plead our case. Uh, we'll, we'll plead our, our case, case, and hopefully you agree, but we'd love to know if you don't. Yeah. So. Um, let's without, get into it. Without further ado, let's, do it. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> First one is most underrated EC, and the nominees are the King Song S18. Ooh. Yeah, King Song S18. As you know, it's one of my favorite wheels, especially with the TR1 tire put on it. Mm -hmm. um, it King Song S18, I feel it got overshadowed by the V11, but it is, I would consider, an underrated wheel. Um, one of the best wheels to ride off-road. It's super fun. There are some finicky warranty issues that yeah. have been dealt with and um, hopefully are improved in, in the newer models. But uh, it deserves a spot in the underrated EUC nominees list. The next, next is... The Bagode T3. Bagode? Just Bagode. kidding. I won't get into Ooh. it. <laughs> Bagode T3, Tesla T3. Um, one of my favorite small wheels, 84 volt wheels that I commute back and forth. My favorite. On a sunny day. I just love how it rides. Yeah. I can easily get 90 kilometers yeah. of range, which is really impressive for the small package. For the price point, really can't be beat. Um, I get why it made our nominees list. Yep. Um, and last. Last would be the Bigode Hero. Damn. Yeah. It is underrated for sure. I, I mean, most people are complaining about the price. They haven't I, tried it yet. I get it, but most, most of you haven't tried it yet. It is like a very fun wheel to ride. It might even beat out the S18 off-road now because it's just a bit more power. 
Uh, crappy battery, same as the S18, but it deserves an under underrated UC award. Yep. So, drum roll, please. The winner is. I forgot what the winner is. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is. Oh, wait, it's on here. The Tesla T3. Hey! Have a Let's go. Well deserved. Oh, well deserved. That's, it's a, it is a great wheel. Expand more upon why um, it won, Bradley. The hollow bore bearings <laughs> give it this extra smoothness and torque, and the bigger battery gets you good range. It's really one of the best city commuters. I mean, it's also powerful uphill, so you can take this thing off trails. For the price. For the price, and no one's talking about it. How many people are buying it? But when they test ride it yep. in our store, we, yep. we sold quite a few but it's not one of our bigger online sales. We have to like tell people about it. We have to people get people to come into our yeah. store and test ride it. What else it's at that price wheel. also has a screen giving you speed yeah. and metrics. Yeah. Uh, nothing? It's I don't a, think anything no. in that price. It's got a skinny wheel on it, but I actually love the way it leans and it turns. Yeah. You can really lean into your, your turns on it. Yeah. With, if you lean too hard, you'll get some pedal scraping, but I just, I love the wheel. It's yeah. one of my favorite 84 volt wheels. At that so. price too, it's just, yeah. you can't mess with it. Well, I'll yeah. throw that one out and we'll grab the next one. All right. <laughs> Um, next category, <clears throat> what is it? Best, Best all-rounder. All oh, yes. This is a wheel that does this, does that, a little sprinkle of this. A little bit of everything. A little sprinkle of that. You could only have one wheel. Perhaps. This could be it. Yeah. Best all-around, it checks all the boxes. Maybe mm -hmm. not suspension, but yeah. some of them do. Yeah. The nominees are? The Inmotion. V12. Ah, that's like a no-brainer for our best all around. Yep. Top speed is 70 kilometers an hour, lacks suspension, but it's really stable for a 16-inch wheel. Maneuverable. One of the best one-legged riders because it's so high you can easily ride with one leg and full do of hot tech. It's a fantastic rideability. Yep. Um, our best seller, next to the V11. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, which brings us to another nominee, the Inmotion V11. Correct. Um, not quite the same top speed. He's got that 55 kilometer mm -hmm. an hour top speed, which is more than most mm -hmm. 84 volt wheels. And the suspension is super smooth. The light is super bright. It's got checks all the boxes for features. Yep. It's got a little bit of everything. It looks cool. It looks cool. Yep. It rides nice. It's one of our best sellers for a reason. It our, has it is, to. It is our best seller. Yeah, still. Yeah, yeah, yeah I believe it is. Yep. And V12 is. Climbing up the charts. Yep, they keep Very close. Reiterating on it, improving it. It's yeah. getting better and better. And lastly, it's been this oh. has been the best all arounder for a while. Oh, this one. Okay, yes, this one. Okay. Yeah. Intro, you're me off me. And keep going. No, on no, the no. The Kingsong 16X. Often you go into the forums and you're like, what's which wheel should I get for my first wheel? And or what's the best all around wheel I can grow into? Yep. People are always commenting Kingsong 16X. It's reliable. It's decent in the rain. It's um, maneuverable, fast, 50 kilometers an hour. It's a great all-arounder yeah. and there's no, and it's been around for a few years now. Best trolley handle in the quacking game, yeah, for sure. That, that and the 18, 18 XL. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just, oh, the trolley handle for tall people too. And it's reliable. We never have 16X warranty issues. No. It's, it's been a really solid. No, tire changes because people just <laughs> ride them so much they wear the tires off. Yeah. Great all-arounder, yeah. The yeah. winner. You want to answer the winner there? Do the honors. And the winner is... <laughs> the Inmotion V12. All right, next category. <laughs> best suspension EUC. Mm. Not best suspension, best suspension EUC. Mm -hmm. They're different. You get the, get the nuance there? Yeah, there's a... Not the best suspension system. <laughs> The best overall EUC with suspension in it. Now, there's really only potentially four nominees, so we picked the best three. I think everybody can guess the one we left yeah. out, um, the EX. <coughs> <coughs> and, it's, and its predecessor. Um, yeah, we're not going to talk about that one yet, but no one's tried it yet in North America, so. Speaking of the EX2. Of the EX2 or EX2S. Um, anywho, the nominees are. The in motion. The 11. <laughs> so that is great. <laughs> we should have done that for all of them. <laughs> We're learning as we yes. go here. And the next, no oh, V11. Let me talk about the V11. Yeah, yeah. We've already pressed on it a bit. Yeah. So everything I said before, 
Really good all-arounder. It doesn't necessarily have the best suspension of the three nominees we're gonna, about to speak to. Yeah. Little pogo sticky, yeah. up and down, but everything else just makes it such a good EUC that most people, there's a reason why it's our best seller. It's just, again. It's smooth. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Next mm, one. King Song. S18. S18. Yes. Another obvious, uh, obvious choice for the nominees. Yeah. Best suspension of the three, hands down, yeah. um, without a doubt. It just smoother. You can adjust the rebound so going down perfectly. Down. Um, by far the best suspension, but it lacks battery. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then we have the Bagode Hero. Yeah. We kept yeah. been testing the Torque version, but we'll say Bagode Hero in general. Yeah. Um, an amazing EC, as we've mentioned previously. I, I, Love the thing. Yeah. Love the thing. Can't wait to do more videos on it. Can't wait to ride the it more. The torquiest of the three. Yeah. About the same speed as the V11V, a little bit faster because you can push you can push the goad wheels past it. Yeah. Uh, I feel more stable on it, probably because it's weight yeah. and its size. Um, out of any suspension Highly maneuverable. Wheel. Yeah. I, I feel like I feel the most confident and Turning on it is out of all of them are my favorite, except yeah. if you have the TR1 tire, the S18, it <clears> beats it out. But shall I reveal Zavina? <clears throat> the winner is... In motion, V11. Ooh! Yes. No surprise. That was, the, it was a surprise. It was just a close one. It was really hard to pick a winner for this it one. It was a surprise, I lied. It was. Yeah. I had a hard time, uh, and we fought back and forth a little bit on this one. I, but, yeah. but the in motion V11, it does check more boxes than any of the other two. For it's the true. best all around suspension EUC, it's true. it has to be the in motion V11. I acquiesce. Yes. I love it. I you, love, you it. love I, it. I'm not upset yeah, with it. I love it too. I do love I'm it. I'm not upset with know. it. Yeah. I'm not mad. No. I'm not mad, bro. <laughs> hey. This is a big one. The next Moving one. On. Oh, yeah. This one is a sticky topic and it's going to surprise you. It's going to yeah. surprise everyone. I think. Da, 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 da. The next category, uh, category <laughs> is most reliable brand. I keep doing this like you're going to put some, <laughs> some rainbows. I, hope, I don't want to give too much for you to do here. but. <laughs> I'm not Does editing it? that in. Oh my god. <laughs> most reliable brand. Yes. Most reliable brand. I think it's going to be a surprise to everyone because the brand that I think everyone thinks is the most reliable didn't even make our nominee list. <laughs> we get repairs every day. We deal with the warranties. We see, see what comes back and... Feet on the ground, guys. None of this forum hogwash yeah. nonsense. That's not nonsense. We love forums. But... Let's go through the nominees. The nominees are... Veteran. Yes. AKA Leaper Kim. Yes. We, we call him Veteran. The product name is the Sherman and the Abrams. Veteran is considered the brand name, even though their company is called Leaper Kim. We're going to continue to refer to them as Veteran. Yeah, fight me. Fight us. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> um, the next is going to surprise everybody. But we never get warranties for these wheels. So, Gotta literally, not one warranty not has come in one. since it, we opened. Honestly. Is Bagode. Yep. So. That being said, we don't sell as many Bagode wheels as the other ones, but we still act healthy the percentage. We'll reveal who the winner is in a secchi. Next, it'd be... Oh, no, I'm wearing a king crown. <laughs> oh, you're singing a song. It's a clue. Can you guess? King song. Yes. Um, their wheels have been known to be some of the most reliable wheels out there, with the exception of the S18's Ooh. BMS issues. Ooh. But the King 16X and the 18XL continue to be super reliable. Yep. I'm excited for the S20. I hope it is reliable, <laughs> unlike the S18. But the winner is... Veteran, Libra Kim. Close. It was a close, close one. It was a close one. Honestly. It's a close one between Bagode and, <laughs> and Veteran. Yeah, not, but yeah. I, I mean, think every, everybody too, can though. come to a conclusion why Bagode wasn't the winner, uh, even though we haven't had any issues. Um, <laughs> we, we all know. I don't want to talk about it. But, uh, and yeah, you'll see that one brand didn't make the list. They're going to have to work hard to make this list next year. And I hope we have a most improved brand next year because oh, uh, InMotion has been... That's a good category. It's been a little disappointing based on the, how many warranties we get back for the InMotion wheels. They are more... You said the name, okay. Yeah. I didn't know if we were going to, like, Voldemort eh. this Yeah, I'm calling them. I hope they're watching this, and they yeah. need to know that they need to... You guys got to work on it, man. Um, yeah. I know it's a surprise to the community, but we get most warranty issues with InMotion wheels. Yeah. I think one of the reasons is they're more complex. The BMSs yeah. are more complex. Their controllers are more complex. When you have more complexity, more things can go wrong. 
Um, at least that's what we've seen in our, at our, in our warranty center here. So. Yep. Yep. Um, and that's the, but you know, in their slight defense, that's the cost of innovation. It happens across many sectors in technology and, and manufacturing. You innovate, you're first to market with stuff. You're also led with that dilemma of first, you know, innovators dilemma of you deal with the first problems. Yeah. You take the brunt of that impact. And they're I, doing I, that. They're leading the charge in a lot of ways, which we applaud and yeah, respect. Yeah, in motion, I have this love hate relationship with them. I know, they're, man. They're coming I know. Up with some amazing stuff, and they won some of our awards. Yeah. But and the, I want to say, what comes to most reliable, the reliability standpoint, it isn't just one wheel that's had issues. It's equal across the V8F. The um, actually the V10F is the only one we don't really have issues with. Yeah. Um, but, you but know, it's pretty much across all of their, their the V5F, the V8F, the V11, um, the V12. Mm -hmm. So it's not to say one wheel, but it's just it's just pain in the butt. And some, I will say it as well. We ordered a bunch of V12s. I ordered about twenty thousand dollars worth of parts. They didn't send any of the parts with the V12. So when Sorry, we had a, a couple crap out, yeah. we couldn't fix them right away. We tried to get them to airship the parts. It took them a month to airship the parts. So in motion, really need to step it up, and I'm calling them out on this yeah. because yeah. Um, well, that's, I want them to be better. Everything so. you just laid out is not reliable from a brand perspective, from a manufacturing perspective. We can't rely on them in that sense as a retailer. Can't put you on the list if we don't rely on you. Yeah. We believe in you. We know that you have it within you to become biggest turnaround brand of the year next year. And they still are the biggest brand. But yep. there's more wheels out there than anything else. Yep. But just based on percentage, not even the numbers that we're selling, yep. it's the most Victims of their own brand. success, maybe. Hard to get out of bed when you're laying in silk sheets. You know? <laughs> All right. And more positive category. Yay. Best rider. Oh. Best UC rider. Yeah. This is a fun uh -huh. one. Lucas. Nominees are uh, Mike, a.k.a. Shibby Time. Yeah. For a little shot of him, maybe well, in between us. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I know. Over top of us. Over top of us. Him ripping about. Insane. Changed the game for riding dynamics. What was really believed to be almost possible. possible. I just didn't even really comprehend this stuff. You know, I was just thinking from the perspective of just kind of riding, hit a little bump, little jump. If you don't know, we'll put his tag somewhere here. Yeah. See Shibby Time, go look at all of his videos. Link will be in the bio as well. Shout out to his homie, uh, Brian B. Rex, who rides with him as well. Yeah. Insane, these people, the, the level that they're pushing, I cannot wait to see what happens um, down the road. And, and I will say, they're one of, uh, watching his videos is early in my UC days, because I my surprise people, but I only got into UCs last August. Yeah. I was a one-wheel diehard. I still am, but I'm way more an UC guy now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, he, he, watching his videos and seeing what was possible, I was like, whoa, these aren't these dorky little toys that go straight on the... <laughs> yeah. I, I always saw people just like leaning yep. forward, riding on the, <laughs> riding on the sidewalk Dressed pretty, like pretty this, slowly, you know? but man, have they ever changed and the community has changed and growing and everyone's yep. getting better. And So uh, thank you, Mike, because you really inspired me to not do big jumps, but get into these things a lot yep. more and open the store and uh, yep. your videos were a big part of that. So. And Bradley's one of thousands of people that I think have the same thing. So your riding is, is inspirational, it's insane. Please keep wearing a helmet, we really like that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want vegetable Mike, we want normal Mike to keep riding and enjoy himself, okay? Oh no potato God. Mike. <laughs> it's true, we don't want I that. I love it, vegetable Mike, <laughs> um, horrible. Next up <laughs> is uh, euc.girl, Nadia. Yeah, I don't know if you guys seen her because she's gonna be the next up and coming. Honestly, insane. Love her. Um, she's Eleven years old, hitting jumps that make me pee my pants. <laughs> <laughs> like, just I'm impressed. Big she's, fan. she's going places. Big in fan. The EUC world. We're gonna yeah. see, you're gonna see a lot more of her. Follow her. We'll put her stuff down below. Yep. She deserves uh, some subscribers. And, and yep. Anyways. She's and great. Um, next is. Uh, a Looney Psycho, aka Muhammad, aka a Looney Psycho. Yeah, where do you, was he ride out of again? Du he rides out of Dubai, Dubai I believe, yeah. and surrounding areas. Most of his shots come out of there. Different, so uh, uh, Shibby and Nadia, Mike and Nadia, they're more kind of dirt jumps, more that kind of dynamic. A Looney is speed and, and smoothness, but yeah. he's, you know, fully modified his Monster Pro street tire, just 
sitting rides of I think like up to 92 kilometers an hour. Not yeah. that we condone that. Yeah, we don't want to say that makes <laughs> you know, like someone the best rider, but you know, his riding is it's awesome. We, we yeah. love following his stuff. Yeah, he's never ripping around traffic in those videos. He's, you know, pretty much like open, closed Dubai roads, straight ahead, pan flat, but just like the, the, the gumption he puts behind his riding, his content's amazing. Yeah. He's, just, he's just a confident, amazing, sick rider and a great member of the community, so love him. All right, why don't you read the winner for this one? I'll take the... Drum it off. EUC girl, Nadia. Hey. Get it, Congrats, get it. That's Nadia. Yes. Keep killing the game. We uh, also have a thank you video from her. Oh, do so, we? Yeah, we'll Perfect. post that we'll up. play that right now. Da, 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 da. When I heard I was selected for the Eevee's annual Best Rider Award, I was shocked. There are so many other great writers out there who deserve this. I want to thank Bradley and Lucas for being awesome supporters of the PEV community. You guys are doing great things. I hope I can continue to be an inspiration to the younger generation of writers as well as the older. I wish the best for the future of your business. You know I'd like to hang out with you all, but I've got to roll out. Bye. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Nadia. Yeah. That was sweet. fantastic. Awesome. Moving on. Similar category, but not quite. Yep. The Clout Master, aka yep. Best Influencer. And we yes. know the word influencer rubs some people the wrong way. But it is, go look in the comments. It is probably, you know, if not for companies like us, our efforts, marketing, expanding, selling, creating content, if not for us, maybe in conjunction with us plus influencers, not us, only EVs, you know, yeah. the community is a retail community as a whole, is probably the two biggest factors of growth for EUCs. You go look at some of these influencers that we're about to mention, you look at their comments below, it's so many people being like, what are these? Literally don't even know. We're in this little echo chamber of knowing these, knowing all the different details and text we're watching. These. Yeah, these people are are bringing EUCs to the world yeah. like no one else is. So, yeah. um, in different ways. So, before let's 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 read the. Let's the get into out. it. Let's yes. Read the uh, number one is electric roller, aka yes. Tien. 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 Yes. Hailing out of Toronto, Canada. Yeah, also. Canada. Not biased, one of our sponsored riders. Yeah, not all the nominees are actual in our influencers. Yeah, so. and we will we will say whenever they are, and this is really the first one. Come speak to us, we'll, yeah, we'll yeah, make it worth your while. Be an influence rider. Come on. We uh, hooked up yeah. we'll TN with a V12. Yeah. And uh, and some some gear. Some gear. Not to say that that takes away at all from our factoring in this competition. No, he's, it doesn't. He's, he's he's in this award show competition kind of. We'll put some of his content here. Just. A video, like a, 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 crea a content creator, a creative by trade. Yeah. This guy has, in my opinion, changed the game as far as EUC content creation. He was the first to really put out consistent, clean, sick looking, compelling, viral and, EUC well, and content. And his followers just skyrocketed because viral, viral, viral video after viral video. One of them was as silly as only I'll play. Don't get Tim's. Don't want to get Tim Hortons and like, or is it Starbucks? I can't remember. I think but it's Tim's. Tim Hortons, yeah. and it's just such a Canadian thing to do. Yeah. Don't want to get Tim's on my EUC. You know, uh, I but love it's, it. It's because yeah. he put the. Anyways, we don't go too long into him, but uh, love him. Amazing. Um, totally not reading off anything. Next is. Kelly, <laughs> a.k.a. Kelly Chameleons. Yes, we've been following her since she had no followers, really. Literally, since we opened. And in the last opened, year, yeah. it's just exploded. So we, um, we love watching her. It's always awesome having badass women content out yep. there as well. Um, She's constantly putting stuff out. She rides, in, uh, in, she rides with uh, Mike Shibby Time. I don't know if they got a little thing going on there. I don't know. No, I don't think so. No? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure we'd be gossiping be a, about this shit. I don't know. It'd be, it would be a great, that's a match made in heaven we right there. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. We're up here in Canada. We're too detached. Maybe it's like common knowledge that you do or you don't. Maybe you're both married. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Never asked. We are, Keep our hands out of it. We're only America's hat. Yeah, exactly. Here, we're, America's, we don't know anything. we're America's frozen hat, especially right now. <laughs> Anyways, that, so. hey, by the way, the reason why we haven't come up with that hero video is because it's freaking minus 10 Celsius out here, yeah, which is very coldest has ever been in Vancouver in yeah. December. So, give you a Fahrenheit. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. There we go. 
Uh, Kelly, Chameleons, that's not a takeaway from yeah. it. Amazing. Thank you, keep bringing out badass content. That's we right. Love it. And then this one, uh, so these last two, they kind of, you know, more social media Compete based. Compete with each other, they're more TikTok, Instagram. This one, a little bit of a switch up, more of a YouTube, Instagram combo. Yeah. Mr. Runway. That was good. Thank you. You should do it. Hey, do Adam, it. can he do your new intro? <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone that watches our videos probably watches Adam's videos as well. Yeah. So we don't need to even say much, but he's a huge influencer as well. Some of his videos um, attract people that aren't already in the community. And that's what we really thought about when we're talking about influencers. People that are bringing people from the outside yep. into the UC community. Yep. And you know, really, Kuji would have made this list, but he's kind of stopped creating content. Yeah. And I, I know why. He's, had, he's got a new home and just moved and tried to build a family. and. And so I understand, we love you, Kuji. Kuji. We still hope you come to Canada one day and do some clinics with us. Kuji. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, wrong way, Adam, we love your stuff. Thank you for being so informative. You taught us a lot. Uh, yep. I still learn from your videos all the time. Every so single time. Thank Every you for that. Every single time you post, we have you. There's a big old projector screen right behind. Yeah, your videos are playing room. all day long on our projector. All the time. So, uh, I shall read the winner. The winner is... I forgot the winner again. Electric roller. Electric roller. Electric roller. Oh. Electric roller. Yes, yeah. thank you. Yeah. There's nothing in the envelope, people. <laughs> uh, there's nothing in the envelope. Okay, well, I have to remember. Okay. <laughs> Recording. We're good. <sighs> okay. Whoops. Whoopsie. <laughs> so, <laughs> little fact, a uh, little known fact for a new and upcoming content creators. You, uh, due to tax purposes, SLR cameras can only have a filming length of up to 29 minutes and 59 seconds or else they're taxed in a different bracket, a higher bracket as Cam actual quarters. camcorders. So, uh, watch your time. It's, if you'd like to it's no longer New Year's Eve. It is no longer no, New Year's it Eve. It is uh, the 3rd of... 3rd of January. We have no beers, uh, and you will probably not see a beer in an 11 a.m. meeting or a video <laughs> until uh, next New Year. Until next New Year. <laughs> but what a night it was. Where were we? Oh, we were about, just about to show. <laughs> I was like reaching down, and I was going to say, oh, I forgot that Tien, uh, aka Electric Roller, gave us a thank you video for, um, for his win. Let's roll it. Oh, hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you so much for this award. Uh, this is the first time I ever received an award for riding EUC, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been supporting me on my social media accounts, on my Instagram, on my TikTok. Uh, yeah, so just stay tuned. There's a lot more coming in 2022. Peace. All right. Yeah. Next up. Most anticipated. C. Yes. There is a really <laughs> one that everybody, it's blared obvious. The first nominee is, of course, is a King Song S20. Correct. Um, first 126 volt wheel, the suspension, adjustable power pads. Uh, sounds like it's going to be super torquey and fast. Yep. Um, they're ironing out some kinks. They're delayed a little bit, so that makes it even more anticipated now, I feel. Yep, which um, I'm happy to have in the, yeah. Yeah, you can watch back at our old videos to, um, Find out more about it if you don't know too much. Um, and the next nominee, only have two nominees for this category, That's right. is the InMotion V13, which is more recently not announced, but like stuff starting to buzz about it. Some anticipation is building. Um, it's going to be the fastest EUC ever made. Um, I was told it could potentially reach speeds of 60 miles per hour or 100 kilometers an hour which is insane, kind of scares me to be honest. Uh, I hope they iron out all the kinks and thoroughly test it. Um, I'm scared. Also, it's supposed to have the option for suspension, or at least they're thinking of doing this, where it has a suspension attachment that you can add, or no suspension. I don't know if they're gonna follow through this at the end, but they were mentioning something like this, which is, oh, is weird. I'm anticipating um, that. And it's, it's supposed to be good, and apparently their V14 is supposed to be like revolutionary. Yep. It's supposed to be like really change the game. V13 already sounds pretty exciting as is. Yep. Um, let's go to the, where's our golden envelope? 
I think uh, I left it in the back, so let's pull an audible uh. and grab a copy of <laughs> Hot Tub Time Machine, which of course inside holds the winner of the, the most anticipated EUC. It certainly does. The winner <laughs> of the most anticipated EUC, from Oakley, is King Song S20. Congratulations. Congratulations. That's beautiful. All right. Hey, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the last category is wheel you see the year you see of, of the year wheel of the year you see the year yeah <laughs> <laughs> go on um the you see of the year we have the abrams <laughs> yeah veteran abrams veteran abrams the Hypercam, veteran abrams. in motion v12 yeah and the extreme bowl commander Abrams, we've talked about already. It's stable, it's fast, it's smooth, it's almost waterproof, it's very mm -hmm. water resistant. Mm -hmm. The batteries are in separate modules. It's, it's really well done. The InMotion V12, as mentioned earlier, it's like kind of checks all the boxes with the, the exception of suspension. Yep. There's a 16, 16 inch wheel, so good. And the last one is Extreme Bowl Commander. Copy of the Veteran Sherman, of course, but with some improvements. But they did well on the copy. Yeah, yeah you know? it lacks some other things the Veteran Sherman has that the Extreme Bowl doesn't. Like, it feels like it's been around for a while because we've had it in the shop for so long now, yeah. kind of so long, a couple months, but like, yeah. it's still no, pretty much nobody's ridden the Extreme Bowl Commander yet. So, when do you read the winner? All right. This Last is big. one. This is big. Hit those Congo. Oh, baby. yeah, right at home. The winner is the Veteran Abrams. Veteran Abrams. Bet you didn't see that coming. Well, maybe they did because I've yeah, been so obsessed yeah, with it. Yeah, we're pretty into it. But <laughs> for a That's reason. Good. Tell them why, Bradley. Veteran Abrams. Again. I mean, again, I already <laughs> just repeated it all. It's so smooth. I'm not going to. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an yeah. awesome wheel. It's the one I take home every day. I love it. I'll probably do another video a thousand kilometers in. Yep. Um, that was a good video. Very professional. Yeah, I think overall that was... Uh, not a bad video at all. I hope we, you guys... We had some quirks, but we, you know, it's like take four in the last yeah, section. Yeah, I also, you know, let it be known that the mic died after reshooting this 10 minutes ago. But uh, we stay professional. We carry on. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, through all the mumps and bumps, and uh, we'll see you next year for our second annual EV's Awards show. See you then. All right. Professional, I think. Yeah, it's a bad. Lucas! Oh, what the... <laughs> <laughs>